Well, good morning. Mike Torino here. It's been a couple days since our last episode. This will be episode 25, and today is March 5. It's been pretty busy here. I haven't done a lot of filming in a couple days, but I'll hit the highlights for you. If you noticed in uh, episode 24, we had the septic issue, and we fixed that. We have buried our tank once again and filled it with water this time. So I think it's going to be okay. We've done a lot of work with our box culvert. Finished the box culvert around both sides of the property, the front and the side. Covered the culvert two different ways. We made some steel and concrete manholes. What we've done is created a two foot wide planter box along the top of the culvert and that's going to serve as both a nice planter box as well as a wall shielding the under underneath of the stairs from this side of the street. The wall is going to vary in height. It's going to start out as just a regular planter box. It goes up a foot, over a couple feet, up and over, up and over, and finally the, the tallest part of the back of the planter box will be six feet so that's going to provide a nice deterrent uh, both for noise and traffic for people passing by as well as it's going to provide a lot of shade back there for one of my outdoor air conditioning units our tile guy has been busy behind me in the upstairs CR and the upstairs CR is, is finished uh, the tiles are laid the plumber has installed all of the fixtures show you that in a second and we started work on the downstairs CR that has been finished rendering and our tile guy is working there now putting the different style of tiles in the bottom CR so most of the last week has has been tile work and work outside on the perimeter of the garage we don't have power yet inside the CR but I've got my light on my GoPro on and I'll just pan around here. We've used a Snow White 60 by 60 centimeter square tile on the walls. We've incorporated a soap dish here for soap and shampoo and then this textured highlight will it goes from top to bottom where our water heater will be. Then over here we've got a four inch exhaust fan. Moving around to the sink. We've got a, a minimal sink here. It's installed. Got our hookup for the bidet and our one piece toilet. And then our drain over here was is an aluminum hidden drain. And last, my favorite will be the urinal. This urinal has a uh, infrared detector, so when you step away from it, it automatically flushes. I like the way our C CR has turned out because we have a high ceiling in both. This is probably 12 feet. The one downstairs is more like 16 feet. And we have our exposed steel decking on top, which, I, which we can polish and I think it'll look really nice. We're going to chip the edges of the con where the concrete meets the steel decking and then we'll have our painter at a later time. Our painter will come in and finish this area up here. I've never done this before. You have to keep adjusting the angle of the blade as you're moving. And I think you can tell when it's just right. When it, like the name says, it really just starts to slide and float over the surface but if it starts getting 
hard to push. I think that means your angle needs to be adjusted. But it's constant. You have to constantly turn this handle to adjust the regulator one way or the other. So you want the angle of attack up increased while you're pushing and then you reverse it on the way back. But it's hard to get you can tell yeah there see it's just floating and then as I go down I have to bring it up a little bit so it continues to float and then come back come back the uh, opposite way And every foot or so, you have to lower the angle of attack. Or else you'll create waves, I suppose. Every once in a while, I get hung up on a piece of gravel. So the gravel is really close to the surface, I think. But I don't have a tamping tool. And I'm leaving big streaks along the edge, so I'm not doing something right. I think I need to stay still and just use the handle. Thanks for watching. Comment if you think I'm doing anything bad or think I'm doing anything good. See you next time.